How to make the Doctor Strange portal effect. Today's video is sponsored by the fake doctor, Ross Geller. I am a doctor! <laughs> Open the fusion page, and add the following nodes. Particle emitter, particle render, merge 3D, render 3D, and connect the last one to the media out. Go to the emitter node, and reduce the lifespan. Go to the region tab, change the region to mesh, and the region type to surface. Now we need to connect a shape to this yellow point that is created. Add a shape 3D node, change the shape to cylinder, reduce the height to the minimum and increase the base subdivisions. Go to the transform tab, and change the rotation of the X value to 90 degree, and decrease the scale to 0.1, and connect the shape to the emitter. Now you can go back and adjust the scale to the size you want to be your portal. Select the emitter node, go to the controls tab and increase the number of particles. Add a particle vortex node, increase the size of it to match the size of the ring. Increase the strength value, the higher it is, the faster the particles will spin. Add a particle target force, and adjust the Z strength to get the spread you like. Now that you created the basic animation, select the emitter node, go in the style tab, and change the style to bitmap. Add a fast noise node, add a rectangle mask to it and make it a small wide line. Go to the fast noise node, and adjust the detail, contrast and scale until you get a nice noise in your line. Go in the color tab, change the first color to red, and the second one to yellow. Connect it to the emitter and you will get this ugly result. Select the emitter node, go in the controls tab, and under the rotation, uncheck the always face the camera box, and set the rotation mode relative to motion. After the target force node, add a particle flock. By increasing the repel strength you will spread your particles even more. Add a particle turbulence, increase the density and the XY strength to add more randomization to the particles. Go to the emitter node, in the style tab, under the size controls and adjust the size over life. When you are done with the portal, select the render 3D node, go to the settings tab and check the motion blur box and adjust the blur to your liking. Bring your clip in the fusion flow and add a camera tracker. Adjust the detection threshold and minimum feature separation, until you get enough points, and hit the auto track button. Go to the solve tab, and press the solve button. Check the average solve error number, if it is above 1 then go through your frame select all the red points and delete them, and hit the solve button again. When you get an error number below 1, then go to the export tab and press the export button. Delete the camera tracker, connect your clip to the new camera node, and delete the ground plane node. Add a merge node after the render 3D node. Bring your second clip and connect it as a foreground to the merge. Select the merge node and add an eclipse mask to it. Adjust the size of the mask to match the size of the portal, and soften the edges of the mask. Select your clip, and add a displace node to it. Add a fast noise and connect it to the displace node. Select the displace node and increase the refraction strength. Go back in the fast noise node and increase the seethe rate, to animate the noise. Go back and forth adjusting the values until you get the displacement you like. Disconnect your portal from the media, out. Add an image plane node, and connect your last merge to it. Add a transform 3D node, and connect it to the merge 3D of the camera tracker. Add the merge 3D node to the viewer, and select the transform 3D node. Move your portal in the 3D space, place it where you want it and adjust the size and rotation of it. Those green points are the tracker points of your image, so keep in mind to place the portal in the point that is relative to the tracker point in the part of the image you want to place your portal.